together this service from beginning to the end. The service re reflects who they are as two individuals, very capable, very bright, very much blessed. And they've also been bold enough to give me two minutes for a little sermonette. <laughs> Paul and Lindsay, these little yellow chrysanthemums reflect who you are. These two <coughs> reflect each of you as individuals. You'll notice they're very close. And they look a whole lot brighter next to each other than separated. Ooh, I don't even like them separated. Paul Lindsay, this flower represents your families. Your families of those who are able to be here and those who are not able to be here. Because it's one family. When you put, when you put together that little flower with the others, oh, it's even brighter and fuller. Now this Flower represents your friends, and you have wonderful friends. You've gotten to meet some of them. They are very uh, handsome, beautiful. They are also uh, very bright and capable, as you both are. So we have to add that little flower to the head. And this flower represents your gifts, your talents. You both are very talented. You work in wonderful professions. And you contribute to the world through your work. And this little flower, oh my goodness. I wonder what that's going to be someday. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so as we add the, all these together, we get a beautiful yellow bouquet. But you know, there's something wrong with this picture. It's not connected to the roots of the plant. I cut it off. The plant was too big. It's a huge plant because the roots represent God. And God is going to feed all aspects of your life. He's going to feed you as individuals, you as a married couple, you as part of your friends, you as part of your family, and you as something in the future we perhaps know nothing about. Um, <laughs> But you must always remain rooted in the Lord. Because that's where we get our nourishment from. That's where we get our water from. And this little flower would last for weeks if we're still out on the plant. And it'll come up next year and, and blossom and bloom bright and yellow and as glorious as ever. In fact, it'll be growing. It grows because it's remained connected to the roots, to the nutrition. So may you, Paul and Lindsay, Remain connected to all your friends, your family, your jobs, but please, remain rooted in the Lord. Yeah. That's where you're going to get your strength and your power, and from the Lord you will find you continue to grow from this day forward forevermore. Amen. Paul and Lindsay, you have heard the words about love and marriage, have exchanged your vows and made your promises, and celebrated your union in the giving and receiving of rings. Now, according to the witness of the church and the laws of the state, you are now husband and wife. Fulfill your vows, love one another, love the Lord your God with all your heart, mind, and soul, and love your neighbors as you love yourselves. And now, may God bless you and keep you. May God's face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. May God look upon you with kindness and give you peace. Paul and Lindsay love all of you, family and friends. And so at the end of the service, Paul and Lindsay are going to come back and dismiss you row by row so that they might express to you their love for you. And all the extended family that stood up earlier, you're asked to stay here after you're dismissed because they want some pictures of you. So please don't run off. <laughs>
Paul, you may kiss your bride. <laughs> For the very first time, it is my honor and privilege to present to you Paul and Lindsay Cassell. Yeah. 